All right, so the last step we're going to be doing before we um, save this as a flattened image and work on the filters is that we are going to now um, adjust the lighting. So you can see that the picture on the left is done with probably a professional camera. Um, the lighting is much, much better. And on the right is just a photo that was taken from um, our um, our computer so it's not that good of a quality and the lighting is a bit harsh so we're gonna we're gonna adjust the lighting on this side I'm not gonna really adjust the color but just more like the lighting so what you do is you can go to um, oh, sorry let me get to the layer that we're gonna be adjusting and that's gonna be layer two it's this one okay we're gonna go to image adjustments and it's right here and it's called levels so the shortcut is command L so what we're going to do is we're going to adjust uh, pretty much the contrast. And I'll show you a before and after as we adjust it. You're not going to be using anything down here with output levels. We're going to be using these three stops, okay, right underneath this chart here. If we bring the one to the left and we start dragging it over to the middle, you can see that the shadows are getting darker. I'm going to put it back. If I take the one to the right and I start dragging that to the middle, you can see the highlights are getting brighter. Okay, We kind of want to do a little bit of a combination of the two. We want to darken our shadows a little bit and depending on your picture you're going to make that adjustment as, you, as you'd like. I have it at 41 and I'm bringing this one down not too far, maybe like to 230 something. It's at this point I could take the middle and do I want them to be darker? I drag it to the right or I want more highlights? I drag it to the left. So, you know, you can make these adjustments as you see fit. So I actually like the way this looks. I think the contrast kind of matches. Again, I'm not trying to match skin tone or anything. I just want to try to get it so it is, um, it has a nice amount of contrast. So if I hit preview, uncheck preview, that's how it was. And that's how it is. So it will kind of increase the contrast a little bit, and make it a richer of, a, of an image. Okay. It's at this point I'm going to be, um, I can flatten the image or I can just save it. I'm going to do the save first. No matter what, you're saving it as a JPEG. So if I go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save it in the same folder. I'm going to call it split. I'm going to rename it. Now you can see that if I go to format, I want it to be a JPEG. Do you see that there is no JPEG option? Okay. So what I would have to do is click on save a copy. And if I go to there, it's still calling it split. It's still in filter. But if you go to format, you have a lot more options, including JPEG. Okay. So that's how you can save it there. I'm going to cancel it. So again, you can go file, and instead of save as, you can go right to save a copy. Now, I'm going to show you how it reacts differently if I flatten this image, if I merge all these layers together. So if I go to the top layer and I hit Command E, oh, sorry, it will not work because this layer is invisible. So let's try it this way. I'm going to go to image, sorry, layer, okay, and I go down towards the bottom, and it's called flatten image. If I do merge visible, it'll do the same thing pretty much. So, but I'm going to do flatten image. And it says discard in hidden layers. In other words, am I getting rid of layer one? Yes. So you can see now it is one layer. Can't make any adjustments at this point, <clears throat> but this is what you want to work with moving forward. So I'm going to go to file. Now I'm going to go back to save as. And you'll see it reacts a little bit different. It's saving it as a JPEG because it's flattened. It already knows what it wants to, what I want it to do. So I'm going to change the format as a JPEG, making sure that it's there. I'm going to call it split. Okay, so just make sure it's split and make sure it has that suffix called JPEG. And then hit save, and you're putting it in the filter. And that's it. So at this point, we move forward with this project with a flattened image and the next steps are going to involve filters.